If you're a parent to an infant and you're thinking about getting started on baby foods and solid introduction, you want to listen up. I'm Dr. Anna, half of the PD Pals, pediatrician here, and I wanted to give you some important information. In my practice, I feel like parents are often really nervous about starting baby foods and solid introduction, especially when it comes to trying foods that potentially could cause allergies. So I understand where the hesitation comes from, but I wanted to dispel some myths for you and give you some information, so hopefully it makes it easier. So according to the guidelines, you can start introduction of baby foods around four to six months. Now this does depend on your child's developmental stage that they're at. Some babies are preemie, they might need to start baby foods a little bit later. Um, so it, it's a decision that comes with you and your pediatrician. But for most healthy, normally developing infants, um, most can usually start introduction around four to six months. So if your doctor gives you the go ahead, you wanna start with one food at a time just to make sure that they're not allergic. So you, I usually recommend starting with veggies, fruits, and you can work your way up and have fun with it. Now remember, their primary source of nutrition and calories is coming from their milk, either breast milk or formula. So you don't, you're not under any pressure when it comes to starting solid foods. You're not really using them for calories, but more to get them used to textures and flavors and get them used to eating. Especially when they turn one, you're gonna switch to whole milk. You're gonna rely more on food instead of the milk or the formula after one. So this is the time to practice, to get them used to these different textures and flavors. There's lots of benefits to starting solid introductions early. For one, kids get used to eating different types of foods and flavors early. They become less picky later. Um, once you start the uh, foods that could potentially cause allergies, if you start those early, they're less likely to develop those allergies later. There was a study that came out almost 20 years ago called the LEAP study, and it basically concluded that people that had the lowest incidence of peanut allergy in the world were in areas where they introduced peanut very early on in life, in the stage of infancy, around four to six months. So introducing peanuts early prevented the development of allergies much better than if we were to avoid peanuts till they were much older. We also noticed that once you start peanuts, you want to keep it consistently in their diet, at least two, three times a week, to keep their body exposed to the peanuts. This also reduces their chance of developing the peanut allergy. Now, of course, if there's a big family history of peanut allergy, if your child has moderate to severe eczema um, or is has the potential to be allergic to peanuts, you definitely want to talk to your pediatrician, potentially an allergist, to figure out if they can start peanuts. But for most babies that don't have these risk factors, it's usually something that they can start right away. So remember, if your doctor has given you the go-ahead to start solids, don't be afraid. Have fun with it and try different things one at a time.